Novena to St. Joseph, Day 1, Foster Father of Jesus. St. Joseph, you were privileged to share in the mystery of the Incarnation as the foster father of Jesus. Mary alone was directly connected with the fulfillment of the mystery in that she gave her consent to Christ's conception and allowed the Holy Spirit to form the sacred humanity of Jesus from her blood. You had a part in this mystery in an indirect manner by fulfilling the condition necessary for the incarnation, the protection of Mary's virginity before and during your married life with her. You made the virginal marriage possible and this was a part of God's plan foreseen, willed, and decreed from all eternity. In a more direct manner, you shared in the support, upbringing, and protection of the divine child as his foster father. For the, this purpose, the Heavenly Father gave you a genuine heart of a father, a heart full of love and self-sacrifice. With the toil of your hands, you were obliged to offer protection to the divine child, to procure for him food, clothing, and a home. You were truly the saint of the holy childhood of Jesus, the living, created providence which watched over the Christ child. When Herod sought the child to put him to death, the Heavenly Father sent an angel, but only as a messenger, giving orders for the flight. The rest he left entirely in your hands. It was that fatherly love which was the only refuge that received and protected the divine child. Your fatherly love carried him through the desert into Egypt until all enemies were removed. Then on your arms, the child returned to Nazareth to be nourished and provided for during many years by the labor of your hands. Whatever a human son owes to a human father, for all the benefits of his upbringing and support, Jesus owed to you. Because you were to him a foster father, teacher, and protector. You served the divine child with a singular love. God gave you a heart filled with heavenly, supernatural love, a love far deeper and more powerful than any natural father's love could be. You served the divine child with great unselfishness, without any regard to self-interest, but not without sacrifices. You did not toil for yourself, but you seemed to be an instrument intended for the benefit of others, to be put aside as soon as it had done its word, for you disappeared from the scene once the childhood of Jesus had passed. Loving Saint Joseph, faithful follower, follower of Jesus Christ, I raise my heart to you to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace I now implore. Guardian of the Word Incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers in my behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Amen. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, my loving protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or asked for your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, I come before you and humbly implore you. Despise not my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen.